Well, hello there. Yes, it is that time again. Once again, time for our weekly tarot slash astrology blog here on December the 9th of 2018. And as usual, I'm going to go over some Tarot de Marseille cards for our upcoming week and then look at a little bit of astrology. And as usual, it is interesting, so do stay tuned. Okay, in a moment, the three Tarot de Marseille cards are going to come on the screen and cover my face. And the cards for this week are the Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, and then Ten of Wands. Now, I find this to be very interesting. Beautiful symmetry. Two Tens flanking the Two of Wands. Almost like trying to balance. That Two is trying to balance these two mighty forces. Because on one side, we have the Ten of Cups. Cups, of course, are our emotions, our pleasure, our joy, our sense of flow. Balancing with our responsibilities, okay, or load that we carry with that Ten of Wands. You know, this is a, this can be a tricky situation. Yes, it can be. We're in the middle of the holidays. We're coming right in the height of season. The crazy South Florida drivers are out there, okay. Uh, my emotions go in and out of check, you know, having, you know, mentioning it lost Barbara a couple of months ago. It's, and my mother too. I lost my mother on December 15th. So, you know, there's times that, you know, the emotions get really strong. So I have to deal with that. And I do in the most positive, constructive way that I can. Just try to keep moving, and not let depression hit a moving target. That's kind of the idea. So looking at this, we see that we have the warm Ten of Cups, plenty of cups. And then there's a quick decrease, a quick contraction to the cold Two of Wands. And then a fast expansion to the Ten of Wands. It's a big thing from two to eight. It's quite a jump. Well, we could look at it like this way. We start with our heart's desire. We start with all of these things that we want, okay? And then we start trying to navigate or negotiate with that two of wands, perhaps. And then all of a sudden, boom! <laughs> it all kind of hits us at once. That's another way to look at the spread as well. Looking at the progression and contraction of the suits and the numbers, you know. It's, uh, it's definitely interesting. It's an interesting time of year. So the main thing is keeping in balance, okay? Not letting ourselves get overwhelmed with our desires or with our state of business and finding a balance in between those two is probably the best road to go. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look now at our astrology. Uh, we are in a waxing phase of the moon. Uh, we just had the new moon on Friday, which is wonderful. That's a time for new beginnings, new starts, fresh ideas, planting seeds, whether literally or figuratively, a time to start up new things. So, we have this next two weeks to look forward to, to be gathering things, attracting energy, attracting circumstances, people, money, whatever it is that we need into our lives. Now, there's not a lot of aspects this week that I care to mention. There is a couple. I'm going to go ahead and double-check my ephemeris here real quick. Put on the reading glasses. That's right. That's right. Got to have those. Okay, tomorrow, Monday the 10th, at 3.38 p.m., we're going to have the moon sextile Mercury. Now, this is nice. This is good for emotional healing. The moon rules emotions and domestic matters and the mercury is healing so this would be a good time perhaps for a healing ritual along those lines then the next thing that might be pertinent for us is we look at wednesday the 12th and again times i give are eastern standard time okay i have to change that for pacific uh, we have the moon sextile the sun at 12 36 p.m 
that would be good, I think, for, for healing or for abundance, okay, trying to attract money. A lot of people like to work with the sun as well as Jupiter or Mercury, okay, uh, to do those sort of spells or rituals. So here we have an opportunity, moon sextile sun, 12.36 p.m. in the afternoon, this coming Wednesday, the 12th. And really, that is pretty much it as far as the astrology goes. Okay, listen, I thank you so much for tuning in today. I love you. I appreciate you. Until I see you next week, many, many blessings.